what is going on YouTube it's your boy here once more and I'm on the second series or video of the series up at Ritchie Hollow trail system okay and I've been going for a little while I haven't I'm gone too far but uh yeah we're still on the trail system and uh, I'm following the the markers right here the blue squares to a T all right and yeah and I showed you a little bit of where I'm at and I guess we're continuing on the journey guys and uh, I'm doing my best here and I'll show you the canopy guys so the tree trees are extremely tall and you know it's pretty dense up in here in this area so and like I said in the last video there's four varieties four varieties of poisonous snakes up here so be very careful and on the first video I will put a picture of the snakes at the beginning okay so that being said just be mindful of where you step okay guys and like I said, I'm wearing cowboy boots. Maybe that'll help me, but I don't know. Uh, I'm just taking every precaution to stay safe and stay on the trail, okay? All right, and that's the trail ahead of me. And the trail we just came from is back there, guys. Okay? But I'm doing my best, guys, I'm doing my best. And I'll have to pan off for a little bit, but you know why. All right, guys. You just check out the trees for a while. Nice. <laughs> it's okay. Hey, how's it going, man? Pretty good. <laughs> All right. Come on, Leo. Okay, guys, I'm back. Like I said, if you come up to this area, just be careful of your steps, your footings, and bring the necess necessary uh, items you need to continue on this journey, guys. Okay. But. Uh, I hope you like all the things I've been doing to the channel. I mean, I try my best every day to better everything, okay? Um, I'm only one person, guys, and I'm an amateur at most, you know? Like I always say, but uh, if you enjoy it, you know, give me a thumbs up sometime or whatever, you know? And the comments, too. I know. I do listen to them, guys. I do listen to them, all right? And we're still on the trail because there you go, okay? Uh, yeah, and I know some of you really don't want to see a sweaty old man on a trail, but uh, like I said in my previous videos and stuff, the whole reason is for my kids and other people to see how I was when I lived at my prime or whatever, if 50 is my prime, okay? I'm 51. So if I can do it, guys, you can too. All right. I'm fighting age all the way, guys. I'm fighting age all the way. Uh, yeah. But I'll spin it around for you guys so you can check everything out once more. Okay? You ready? All right.
yeah guys how you like that is that enough for you well, it's a pretty area i'm telling you guys if you get a chance come out here okay richie hollow trail system okay they have a lot of rocks <laughs> okay guys just be mindful where you step snakes and rocks okay all right I'm definitely going to be a sweaty hot mess up here. All right, there's the steps that go up this way and one that goes down that way, okay? There's like a trail going down there. We're going up because we're following the the blue squares to a T today because I'm not getting lost in Tennessee, okay, guys? Not today. And there's a big boulder there. Huge boulder, actually. And just pan out. You can see it's pretty dense. All right, guys. So if you're claustrophobic, I don't know what to tell you. So, because it makes it feel like you're in a box sometimes. All right. But, anyways, I digress once more. And we're getting up to a little marker. And I don't know. I'll get close and I'll see. All right. It says 0.5 on it. So I guess uh, that from the trailhead to right here is is a half a mile, okay? And it'll show you the five on there, 0. 0.5, and then you can know you've done a half a mile, okay, guys? So there you go, all right? I like to teach you guys a little something when you're on the trail too, you know? You just don't walk the trail aimlessly, you know? I want you guys to learn about trail safety, uh, you know, and uh, taking care of your environment and, uh, you know, leave it as you left it, you know, leave it the same way it was when you got here, you know, take care of these areas, you know, I don't know if I'm being a environmentalism, uh, environmentalist or what, but I enjoy these places and I want them around for generations to come. So it doesn't hurt to pick up your trash or stuff, something you find on the ground in the you know your bag and take it and throw it out in a receptacle on your way out you know it doesn't hurt at all and i've done it many times you know uh, sometimes i come in with the trail come out of the trail more with more trash that's in my bag than i came in you know picking up trash but uh it's okay you know um i just want you guys i'm not uh you know uh griping at you guys or anything but uh you know, use your common sense, guys. If you like it nice, leave it nice, okay? All right. <laughs> it's the dad in me, okay, guys? I, I give lectures a lot. I can't help it. When you raise three children like I have, you know, three adult children now, and they're all girls, and they all have careers, then you might be able to, like, tell me something I don't know because I know I've raised three and they're all successful guys and it's not no it's not an easy task to be to raise your children you know and because it never ends guys you know it never ends because you're always there for your children you know there's a little mark right there okay Yeah, I know I don't have to tell you guys all the, the common sense and morals and stuff, but I'm just telling you how I feel, okay? And you could take it with a grain of salt or whatever, but, uh, you know, these videos are for me, too, to say things I can't say to my children. <laughs> they, they don't have time to listen to me right now, you know? They're busy in their careers, you know? But I want to have that opportunity to leave something behind that way they know, you know, how I was and how I lived my life, guys. How you doing? But, uh, yeah, it's sort of like a legacy, guys. So when I'm gone, you'll have something to look back on. And that's what I'm leaving behind, guys. But I'll continue on, stop mumbling, but there's a, the blue uh, trail marker. And like I said, we're following those to a T, okay? And uh, the, the, the trail has changed a little bit, 
and now it's getting a little rocky in this area as well you know but you still have to be mindful it might be slippery from the mud and stuff guys okay so there's a lot of things you have to pay attention to when you're out going to these places all right it's not just walking through the woods aimlessly you have to be you want to get home safely you know think safely okay guys and try to make some good choices <laughs> that's what i'm trying to do there's another big boulder here guys just out in the middle of the woods here and i'm panning out for you guys and you guys can see everything there is to see guys including me especially me you know i'm the star of this channel right no <laughs> sorry guys i have to do this I have to keep myself amused on these hikes, you know? But, in saying that, I love doing these hikes, you know? It's always a pleasure to go any place and do these things while I'm still able and I'm still alive. Because I'm gonna live my life with no regrets, or try to. There's another marker. You can barely see it, but it's there nonetheless. Okay, guys? And uh, just pay attention to things, guys. Uh, I've encountered uh, a few people on the trail, you know, which is fine. And here's the trail ahead of me, guys. All right. Like I said, uh, I know I've said it many times, but... Ritchie Hollow uh, Trail in Marion County, Tennessee, or Marion, Tennessee. That's where I'm at. So, if you come here, this is what you'll see. Big old tree. Anyways. Oh. Yeah. I'm doing my best, guys. The trail behind me we just came from you know there's lots of birds out today which is a good sign you can probably hear the boats and stuff there in the background you know because uh, it's close to like a uh, uh, big body of water okay now they've really done very good at marking these the trail with these uh, blue marks guys so if you follow that you should be good to go all right all right all right ahead of me it's starting to get really rocky you know even more so back there you know uh, but I'm making my way up it nonetheless okay and I'll show you once more. You see? And that's going to be throughout the whole trail, probably. Like I said, I've never been up here before. This is the first time I've been up here. But I always go to different places, and, and I even revisit my old places I've been to, you know? So, you know? You know. There's some lichen on the trees. I, I, I kind of admire and, you know, observe everything when I'm out here. I don't just walk around. I check out everything, guys, okay? Because I enjoy being out here. It was the worst, the drive. It took me a couple hours to drive up here, and it was worth it to me, okay? I don't mind it at all. So, but I am going to be sweaty, hot mess when I leave. And I'm going to pan out a little bit, show you the area I'm in. Because I hit a spot where it's open, you know, where I can spin around and stuff. But, uh, yeah. <sighs> Bought my battery pack today because I know on these trails that, you know, go a pretty long ways, uh, it's best to have battery packs, the battery um, to power up anything you have that you're going to film with. You know, I've learned that. Ask me how. Yeah. 
it's nothing worse than uh, it's not than uh, trying to get out on the trail and then your camera dies on you. Okay, that's the worst thing in the world because all that coverage is lost and uh, well, most of it's lost and you can't get any more coverage. But uh, when you're out in the middle of the woods, so I've learned the hard way to carry some backup, and that's what I did today. I've got the sm small camera and a battery pack, so I should be good to go. I got flashlights. I got the snake bite kit, and the one place I need it, guys, and the one place I need it, because you know they have all kinds of snakes up here. Jeez. Well, like I said, uh, I'm gonna be really careful. All right, I'm gonna look at the time because I didn't. It's 1.35, okay, guys? You have to pay attention to your times you leave because it gets dark really quick when you're out in the, in the forest or woods or wherever you're at. You have to pay attention to time because it looks, you lose track of it and you could get stranded out in the woods in the dark, okay? I'm always paying attention to things. I've learned along the way what to pay attention to, guys, all right? So... That's the trail ahead of me, and trail all we just came from is back there, guys. So yeah, I've learned a few things, and I hope you have too by watching my videos because I try my best to relay all the information I can. Okay, uh, but it just gives you my videos just gives you an idea of how the places are. If you want, you know, detailed. Uh, you know, a de de detailed video of how they are, you need to go out there and do it yourself. Go out and make a video, guys. I mean, what's stopping you guys from doing it? I, I, I welcome it. You know, everybody should do this stuff. You'd be surprised on your limits, you know. Uh, you, you'll be able to do things you wouldn't believe, okay, guys? And you'll feel empowered when you do these things. Because ask me a year ago if I, if I could do this. I would be a Dalton Thomas and I'd say, no, no thanks, I'm good. But, you know, I jump at the chance now. Every chance, every waking moment I have, I'm either out on a trail or trying to think up a new video, okay, guys? Uh, you know, I know it changed my lifestyle dramatically and uh, I enjoy it, guys, you know? On another note, uh, I was looking on my analytics in the, you know, YouTube studio. It's for creators and stuff, you know. Uh, YouTube people, the creators like I do, like I am, tend to look at the studio and to find out information on your videos and stuff, right? Right. Well, I got a notice the other day saying they're having a problem with, uh, 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 in, uh, what does it say, lack of income or something of videos you know revenue of videos or something in my analytics okay um, you guys I'm telling you right now I don't get paid to do these videos all right I don't have enough uh, subscribers to do you know to get to get monetary gains so all this all these videos I do is for my pure satisfaction and enjoyment it's not for money and I have yet to see one dollar from YouTube. Okay, guys? So if you're thinking, you know, he's doing YouTube videos. He's got over 300 videos. He's making bank. You know, I'm not. All right? I haven't seen one cent from YouTube. Okay? And I guess they got a problem with the analytics or something that they don't pay people or whatever. I don't know. But if you think all YouTubers are rich, you're wrong. Okay, guys? Uh, I work a job just like everyone else does. Okay, I put my time in like everyone else does, you know. After I get off of work, I go on these hikes and do that. You know, that's, that's what I do. I'm just a regular guy, you know, amateur guy. So, uh, if I can do it, you can do it too. 51 years old, you know, I welcome you to do this, you know. Do it, just do it. If you think you can do it, do it, guys. It'll be the best decision you ever made, you know, get you out of your box. It works for me. <laughs> Do I sound like a commercial? 
anyways but seriously guys you know I'm just a normal person like everyone else I just like to you know uh, capture every moment of my life or try to you know I have to keep some to myself and my family guys so keep that in mind but uh, you know yeah so I'm on the second video guys and I'm up to 20 minutes already and I'm getting sweaty oh yeah but there's a trail ahead of me guys and I'm gonna continue on this journey hopefully I'll get it done I don't know but uh, if you like the videos please like comment subscribe hit the notification bell if you so choose please comment yes I love those comments and thank you for that comment you you guys gave me about the mask and about showing more of the trail <laughs> I know I'm doing my best guys okay thank you thank you thank you for the comments all right and keep on watching and go to the next video if there is one I don't know yet if not it might be just pictures okay guys all right thanks for watching guys until next time peace out bro yeah peace out